Hi everyone. Now we are performing a new experiment that is simple pendulum. By using the simple pendulum plot L versus T and L versus T square graph, hence find the effective length of the second pendulum using appropriate graph. So what is second pendulum? Let's know about it. The second pendulum is the pendulum in which the time period is 2 seconds for which this is a simple pendulum when a simple pendulum motions it should for go and fro for go and fro it should take 2 seconds for going 1 second and for coming 1 second so this pendulum is known as the second pendulum here this is the rigid support and this is non expandable thread and this is metallic sphere or bob and this is the simple pendulum kit on sent observation the radius of the pendulum bob it is 0.925 already this is given if not given use it through the vernier calipers by using vernier calipers we can get the diameter and diameter by 2 gives the radius that is given and the length of the thread l at first we have to start with the 40 cm 50 60 70 80 and 90 cm fun this is the length of the pendulum plus r this r is from the here so this is 40 plus 40 plus 9 0.925 this becomes 40 plus 40.925 cm and 50.925 cm and 60.925 cm 70.925 cm and so on then for trial one so time taken for the 20 oscillations so when we have to make oscillations then the angle should be 15 degree it should not be greater than 15 degree and it not be less than a 15 degree so when we suspend from this point suspend from this point so this point and at the time it should be only 15 degree and then mean t so trial one trial two trial three so i will show you how it is and time period t is equal to so this mean t divided by 20 then it comes here and square of this table so that is what t square so what is the on which principle it mainly was the pendulum whose time period 2 second is called as the second pendulum on this principle this works so whereas we already know that in the pendulum the mass doesn't matter for the time period so when a pendulum oscillates it only completely depends upon the length of the length of the thread used it is not depends on the mass so where we get this expression from time period t is equal to time period 2 is equal to 2 pi into root of l by g by squaring on both side we get we get t square is equal to 4 pi square l by g so from this equation we are getting this one so where the time period t is directly proportional to the length time period t is directly proportional to the length so in which mass doesn't matter so if you use any pendulum or any pendulum bob this bob any mass of the pendulum bob it will not change its time period so time period remains constant now i have the length of 40 cm so this is how we have to measure is from this point on the above surface to the tip of the oscillation from above point to the tip of the oscillation i have to measure so this is we can observe this this is 40 cm exactly 40 cm now what i have to do is i have a stop clock here i have stop clock here then for any instant i can measure 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 so for this one time period t is twenty nine seconds then for the trial one it is twenty nine seconds then for trial two again 
make it as 0 then again start for the trial 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 12 so, this is exactly same so then for here also i am getting the 29 then make it for the and the tail obviously it will be around any 29 only so write mean t as 29 only then 29 divided by 20 29 divided by 20 gives the time period t and this square gives the t square okay then now move on for the 50 centimeter so what i have to do is i should increase the length to the 50 centimeter wait i will increase it now it is a 50 centimeter so just 15 degree and start oscillating this one 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 so this is approximately around 30 31 32 seconds so what i need to write is for trial 2 it is 32 seconds from here i can continue my experiment from here also so now again i will get for the same 50 centimeters 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 see again it is same 32 seconds only so what i need to write is in the trial 2 column also this is 32 obviously trial 3 will be 32 then write mean t as 32 only now expand it for the 60 centimeter expand it for the 60 centimeter so obviously i know that from here to from this point to this point this is 10 centimeter so i will approximately increase this one so again 10 10 centimeters then i will fit it here only i will fit it here only so then i will reset it to zero i will reset my stop clock to zero then again i will oscillate for this one so one two three four five so on by oscillating like this only i will get this one is in the increasing order only so for one instant 100 this will be 100.925 and for trial one for 100 and it will be exactly at the 40 and trial 2 will be exactly equal to 40 so this is also 40 this is also 40 and time period 40 by 20 is 20 and 20 square is 20 by. so this is 2 and 2 square is 4 and when we plot this graph so <coughs> this is what the length l then the l in centimeter so what i need to do is for 1 centimeter i need to start with with the 40.925 and 50.925 60.925 70.925 and so on up to 100.925 along the x axis so similarly this same reading will be in the l versus t square graph also so first what we need to write is along scale along x axis for both the graphs 1 centimeter is equal to 10 centimeter and for this one time so what i need to do is i need to make it for 0 0.2 
ज़ीरो पॉइंट फोर ज़ीरो पॉइंट सिक्स ज़ीरो पॉइंट एट वन पॉइंट ज़ीरो वन पॉइंट टू वन पॉइंट फोर अप टू टू सो इन द टाइम पीरियड फॉर दिस ग्राफ ग्राफ वन अलॉन्ग वाई एक्सिस वाई एक्सिस वन सेंटीमीटर इज इक्वल टू वन सेंटीमीटर इज इक्वल टू ज़ीरो पॉइंट टू सेकेंड्स then obviously i will get this graph as this this type and for l versus t square this is the graph where we where we will get the second pendulum second pendulum length so that is same this line is in the like this only and for y axis for y axis it is 1 cm is equal to 0.5 second square so this is what 0.5 second 1 2 1 1.5 2 2.5 3 3.5 like this only so then what we need to do is for the from the em we are finding the effective length of the second pendulum for time period t is equal to 2 seconds but we are plotting the graph of t square so t square is equal to 4 seconds so why need to cut it for the 4 cm and the exactly vertical line gives the point where this one is contracted with the 100 cm so if it is the 100 cm if it is an 100 cm then our experiment is exactly right so what is from this one is the if the effective length of the effective length of the pendulum is 1 meter is 1 meter then the time period will be 2 seconds